Hello everyone, my name is Zenoheld and this is going to be my first walkthrough that I've ever done. I'm kind of new to making my own videos, so this is kind of overwhelming for me. But I'm going to try my best to do this, so please Resident bear with me. Evil. Now, one thing I gotta get off my chest. I feel as though my audio is very terrible at the moment. Mostly because I have no idea if it's too loud or not. One thing I do know for sure is how when I hear my voice. Yeah, I listen to my voice when I record this stuff and for some reason I sound like I'm very disinterested in anything I'm doing. I don't know why though, but for the sake of this game, I'm going to be playing it on veteran mode for more than one reason. One of those reasons is, well, this. And if you don't know what this means, it means I've pretty much beaten the game. I can't unlock Shova unless I beat Resident Evil 5 at least once as Chris. And another thing to be added, I also got some infinite ammo for some of my weapons. I also got some other items that I might explain how I got them, but that may be for later. So without further ado, let's just get to the game. in like my living room so you may hear a lot of well everything. Sorry, that's pretty much on me. Sorry. On the other hand, one of the other things about uh, getting off that subject of my audio, I really like the animation of this. Mostly because the cinematography that's even used in this game, it just looks really good. Captain Deshant here. We secured the underground route to the coordinates. I really like how it looks. Looks pretty spot on. Now there are a lot of things that I'm pretty sure. I'm not the only one to have already pointed out, but one of the things that a lot of people are should have seen it coming. It didn't take with. long after the fall of the Umbrella Corporation for their bioweapons to end up in the hands of terrorists. A new era of bioterrorism descended upon vulnerable countries, shifting the balance of power throughout the region. People in the destabilized areas soon feared another incident like Raccoon City was inevitable. As panic spread, governments of the world turned to the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium, which formed the anti-terrorism unit BSAA. Operatives of the BSAA were sent to infiltrate and neutralize bioterrorist hotspots, restoring safety and stability to various regions around the globe. Welcome to Africa. My name is Sheva Alamar. Chris Redfield. Your reputation precedes you, Mr. Redfield. It's an honor. Just Chris, thanks. So you'll be accompanying me to the destination? Yes. Tensions are running high ever since the change in government. I'll bet. Intel says it's a haven for terrorists now. And I'm not going to be happy to see an American, BSAA or not. That's why I'm your partner. Help put them at ease. Well, I'm sure you'll do just fine. You okay? Yeah, sorry. It's nothing. Let's go.
casualties continue to mount over the long years I've struggled. More and more, I find myself wondering if it's all worth fighting for. Maybe one day, I'll find out. Hey, hey! Who you in Kenti? Alafanya nini hafa? You don't have to get touchy. Let's go. There is one thing I do know. I have a job to do, and I'm gonna see it through. Sorry, I stopped talking mostly because, well, I just don't want to. I just don't want my voice to cover up whatever it is you need to hear. This is Kirk. Chris Sheva, can you read me? Chris here. Coming in loud and clear, Kirk. Yes, we read you. There's a black market weapons deal going down in Kijuju. That's where Irving will be. The Alpha team has already infiltrated the area, and you will be going in as backup. Rendezvous with your contact at the butcher's shop. You can gear up and get briefed on the mission there. Watch your backs. Roger that. Copy. Over and out. I'm pretty sure some of you don't really care, but for me, I just don't want to ruin the experience. But if you don't really care about the, uh, well, any of this, I'll talk over it if you want. Or any time, really. That's never a good sign. Let's just get to the checkpoint really, really quick. <laughs> just kick the door open. Good, you're both here. Come. This way. But maybe because of the new government, the people around here are a little on edge. You should do what you came here to do and go home. Yeah, they really roll out the red carpet for us Americans. I have your weapons for you here. Check them. Yeah, like I said, I already got, well, everything I need. Destination coordinates? Town squares up ahead. Go through there. Alpha team's waiting at the deal location. Good. What do you know about Uroboros? Mostly just rumors. Something about visions of a doomsday project. Doomsday sounds about right, but apparently it is no rumor. You're kidding, my right? Dad. You must find the man at the moment. He is our only lead. There's a likely possibility that you'll hear that constantly. And be careful out there. Aside from having, well, everything I need, one thing that I know is going to be a pain will likely be, well, the AI. It's helpful, but my god, they'll grab virtually everything. I know I shouldn't be complaining, but I'm pretty sure that's one of many reasons that, well, not many people like Resident Evil 5. 
because the AI is, is practically useless at times. When you want it to do something, it won't do it. But when you don't want it to do something, oh hell no, I gotta do it anyway. I can't believe I'm experiencing that for the... For like... Well, it never really bothered me. Like, if anything, I was alright with it. That is until I realized just how, just how much hell this thing puts you through. It came from that Seriously, building. you could ask Move. for anything in the world. This thing, this AI is definitely going to piss you off. Something that was probably me moving the mic. Sorry. Freeze! And this is from okay? a from the last time. Apparently, a few people didn't like this game or not game. We have drew too much inspiration from Resident Evil 4. And this ain't Resident Evil 4. It's a completely different game. I try to view this game what the hell just happened? in a they different light. I've ever seen. I don't view it as a Resident Evil 4 game. I just view it as, well, its own thing. You know, like how most people don't really care about... Let's get out of here before they find I us. Most people don't care about various video games and in their own sequels or, or sequels like Resident Evil. That game was well, I think all the initial story of the we'll original the Resident house. Evil. It was pretty much its own thing. That's kind of what they stuck with. It being its own thing. Come in, Kirk. Now, the locals were hostile. We had to use force. Force. Sure not we many people would for this situation. like, we, for, well, Come any other type of games. Mean? What does that mean? Either because they expecting this? Doesn't fit with the. With the original story. Or because the because the game themselves were constantly referencing all sorts of other stuff. Now now one of those examples is Operation Raccoon City. Everybody hated it. And not just because of the fact that that it had useless AIs. Another reason was because it didn't. It tried to put to put backstory on what what happened during Resident Evil Two. And I get the how that feels. You don't want well anything to be to be like something that you've already gotten used to. The Resident Evil series was doing great on its own, but then Operation Raccoon City happens and everybody lost their minds. There was no way of telling people, oh yeah, this game, it's, well, it's just a game, but you don't need to take it that seriously. Well, sorry, but the damage has been dealt. 
and you can't really do anything about it. It's gameplay, but mostly because of the characters. The characters I pick at least. You have Vector, who is trained by Hunk. And I'm not very far characters that if I actually look up, I try to use the stories. I know that was a way. He lost his leg during a war or something. Yeah, that's all I know about them. Kind of felt. Just no end! 
Gotta hold out till Kirk gets here. After they're dead. Yeah. Oh, whatever. So, this is pretty much going to be a short video. Sorry. I'm going to be doing each chapter one at a time. Like, literally, with each chapter that comes, I'm literally going to be doing it one after the other. Like, I'm not instantly going to finish them. I'm going to be breaking it down one at a time. Go from one chapter to another. So, this is the end of my video, and hopefully you, you'll like it. See ya!